need to get a light ride. And it's difficult to make it smooth because like you don't have always the same exposure. So take a picture like really sturdy. I look. Move down, take a picture, looks bad, delete without trying not to move. <laughs> Speed up the or slow 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 down the shutter, take another one, looks good. And this whole thing took me like five minutes just to make this stupid thing, but it ends up looking good. That you took of a Golden Gate Bridge at night. And you wanna put them in. You don't want them to just fly in less than a second, right? You can do some hackery there. You can pretend that, that one shot that you've done and like perfected is really five shots. You can just crop it. You can multiply it five times and like crop it in like slightly weird ways and maybe zoom in. And it looks like someone took like five shots of the bridge at night. It's like five amazing shots. And I do have some of those tricks there with the night shots because you cannot possibly take 40 good night pictures that you freeze your ass there all night, you know? So I go to develop module. And I go to crop, and then I'm cropping 16 by 9 HD, like this. Now, I don't like the colors on this, so let's make this into a black and white. Uh, so I go and just pick one of these, or I can use one of, this is my favorite. No, no, yeah, let's do black and white. Now, I don't know what this looks like, but when I copy the setting, and I move it over here. Is it too bright? Better? Okay. And then maybe we can sharpen it. So you just really pimp out one picture, make it really good. And then you do Control C to copy all the settings, including the crop. The crop tends to be unchecked. You need to check it as well. And now I copy. And now I'm just pasting. I'm doing Control V, Control V. I didn't figure out how to do batch phase. You can sync it. I know. Go to grid and then select them all. And then sync it. But then it will, it will do everything. No, no, the select one's one. Okay. Good. So, so I the first one. And then the last one. And now, control V. I press control V, nothing's happening. Uh, yeah, I always do. What do I do? Sync settings. Sync settings, synchronize. Okay, awesome. Now that it's synchronized, you might want to take one last look at it, make sure that his eyes are not cropped in some pictures. Then you would need to like manually adjust the... It's okay, right? Yeah. And now I'm, I'm attempt to close it. It's asking me save, I say yes. Now I'm gonna put it into my clip folder where I have all the... Uh, all the clips, I'm gonna call it RC, save, and now I go into iMovie where I'm gonna just finish the product, add sound, add any kind of slow it down, speed it up if I need to. I already processed half of my pictures from yesterday, so you're gonna see a lot of stuff from photographer conference. This is my iMovie project which I'm gonna add this clip to. So I go file, import movies, and it's in my clips called rc.movie, creating, all right, creating thumbnails, and now I can, I have it here in my library, I select it, first of all, I want to put it at the bottom of my movie, I selected it and I drag it at the end of that movie, and I'm going to show it to you what it looks like, okay? I'm gonna play a little bit earlier, and then you're gonna see RC is gonna appear. There he is. All right, and that's pretty much it. And then just, you just slowly keep adding five seconds at a time. Sometimes you add one second, depending on what sequence. You can be lazy. I've done this last week. We was opening a new cafe, and I decided that I want to do it real quickly, the whole thing. 
I don't want to spend too much time editing in and selecting scenes. So I kept shooting the cafe and the food with that in mind that I'm not going to edit anything. And I was able to shoot it in one hour while I was also eating. <laughs> then I came to my desk, I uploaded the pictures to my laptop. I directly opened, I didn't even open Lightroom. Oh yeah, I did. I opened Lightroom and I did a batch crop to HD format. And I saved it in, as a 1280 width, which took like 10 minutes while I kept coding, you know, just didn't take any time away from me. And then I uh, went to the QuickTime 7, exported it into a giant, one giant movie that was like three and a half minutes. Then I created a new project here in the iMovie, imported that one movie, overlaid it with the sound, and I realized that the song ends. 30 seconds earlier, before the end of the movie. And all I had to do, I spent 30 minutes nipping 100 milliseconds here, 100 milliseconds there. Some scenes were boring, so I nipped the whole two second scene until it matched the length of the movie. It's always shooting manual, right? You shoot Apple Jeopardy? Okay, I'm just gonna play it all. Apple Jeopardy? No, manual, manual, everything manual. So the airplane, it's important to show how you travel, so it's not just like, oh, a beach, and me on the beach. The streets, circle the object, food, random shots, put them together in one, one crazy blinking sequence. Food, a lot of food in Paris. Sushi, uh, streets, random people on the street, museum. If you don't have tripods, bring a Ziploc bag with beans in them. They cannot pick you out with that because it's not technically a tripod. It's light, it fits in the bag. Beans in a Ziploc bag are really light. And you can position the camera anywhere you want without a tripod. Coffee shop, I was not allowed to shoot in. So when the server turned around, I just kept like making sequences, but he kept hearing it. He always looked back and I'm like, oh, it's kind of illegal. This is a, the journey back, the airport, and then my husband waits for me in San Francisco with pizza.